cervical notching on the right canine. Yeah, let me just lift this back for you. And cervical notching um, and recession involving um, canine, first premolar, and, um, and molar. So there's a missing premolar. So we have a little cervical notch here, about three millimeters of recession, uh, about four millimeters of recession on the molar, uh, not so much notching there. And um, then we're approaching three millimeters of recession with a notch here on the canine, um, close to three millimeters on the lateral, very shallow notching, uh, maybe central here, millimeter and a half, central here, approaching three millimeters on this distal line angle. Um, you notice there's a little dip in the root surface there, a little um, staining here too. Probably have a similar thing over here. I don't feel it really, but this is a little irregularity that we often see that sometimes creates um, a little irregularity in the gingival margin. It's just sort of a cleft uh, of um, formation of this tooth. So the lateral incisor, we see three millimeters of recession, um, and the canine, probably two millimeters. No attached gingiva on the canine. Um, the premolar behind it is good, a good zone of gingiva, a good thickness of tissue, so it's not involved. But um, as we come forward, uh, there's a, not a bad zone of gingiva, probably approaching three millimeters on the lateral, and uh, thickness is okay. Uh, central has three, that's good thickness. A good three on the uh, right central, probably three on the lateral, so all those are good in terms of zone of gingiva, so this is more aesthetic uh, root coverage and, you know, preventing sensitivity and root caries and so on. And you see a beginning little staining area there. It 